Marine One is any aircraft of the U.S. Marine Corps transporting the President of the United States. Strictly speaking, Marine One is the call sign adopted by a Marine aircraft while the President is on board. However, in common usage, it has come to mean any of the state-of-the-art helicopters reserved for the President. It is very difficult to know anything about these Marine One helicopter responsible to carry the President of United States due to matters of national security concerning the President's protection. But today we have brought to you some of the inside secret features of these Marine helicopters. But before we jump into number one, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Specially built Sikorsky Helicopter. Being the first company to produce a helicopter makes it a perfect company to produce the helicopter that carries the President of the United States. The Marine One has been produced by Sikorsky Aircraft since the days the United States President started using helicopters as a form of transport for short distance. Currently, there are two helicopter models in the presidential fleet, the VH-3DC King and the slightly smaller VH-60N White Hawk. There are 11 Sea Kings and 8 White Hawks, which are disassembled and transported by military cargo plane to serve the President on foreign travel. Special Pilots Being a President's pilot means that you are the best in all the pilots, this requires the Marine One pilots to be first trained as Marines where they gain all the necessary training, and then go for further training, to be able to fly the President. Only four pilots from HMX-1 Squadron, also known as the Nightwalks are allowed to fly the Marine One chopper. This is only after passing a Yankee White background check, before touching any of the helicopters used for presidential travel. This is done to add to the security of Marine One, making sure that there are no loose ends near the president of the greatest nation. World's most advanced and secured defense system helicopter. The current models of Marine One helicopters can fly more than 241 km per hour for 1,000 km, although some models of Marine One have a range of over 2,000 km. This bulletproof chopper features ballistic armor, advanced missile warning systems and anti-missile countermeasures, such as flares to counter heat-seeking missiles and chaff to counter radar-guided missiles, as well as an ALQ-144A infrared countermeasures. In addition, the green and white helicopters have electromagnetic pulse protection in the event of a nuclear explosion. The helicopter is also equipped with secure communication lines for the President to remain in contact with the White House and the Pentagon. Maximum Supervision More than 800 Marines supervise the operation of the Marine One Fleet, which is based in MCAF Quantico, Virginia, with an additional operating location at Naval Support Facility Anacostia in the District of Columbia, but is more often seen in action on the South Lawn of the White House or at Joint Base Andrews Naval Air Facility in Maryland. At Andrews, the helicopter is sometimes used to connect to Air Force One for longer journeys. Flies in a formation of five decoys helicopters. As a security measure, Marine One always flies in a group of as many as five identical helicopters. One helicopter carries the President, while the others serve as decoys. Upon takeoff these helicopters shift in formation, to obscure the location of the President. This has been referred to as a presidential shell game. To add to the security of Marine One, every member of HMX-1 even for those flying decoys is required to pass a Yankee White background check before touching any of the helicopters used for presidential travel. Fly after engine failure. Having a cruising at a breezy 150 miles per hour predisposes it to engine failure which is a common cause of helicopter crashes in the world. This could put the President of United States in danger. But the failure chopper engines was attended to why making this special helicopter by enabling the Marine One to continue flying, even if one of its three engines fail. This creates additional comfort to the President, knowing that nothing can lead to his chopper to crash. Spacious. When it comes to space, the Marine One has a relatively spacious interior, which can accommodate more than 14 passengers. The chopper has relatively 200 square feet of interior space, large enough to include a bathroom, toilet, dress room and any other thing that the president may wish to add in for him to travel in peace. Noiseless. Unlike other helicopters that make a lot of noise even for those who are inside, the Marine One is something else than a chopper because it's nearly a noiseless chopper in which the president can speak in a normal tone enabling him to conduct meetings of national importance in the chopper in cases of emergent situations. 
Globemaster carries special helicopters. It looks like the president moves with his helicopter wherever he goes. Marine One is transported via C-17 Globemaster or C-5 Galaxy military transport planes, as is the president's cars, wherever the president travels, within the US as well as overseas. At a presidential inauguration, the Marines offer the outgoing president a final flight from the capital to Joint Base Andrews. Future Developments In 2014, the U.S. Navy awarded Sikorsky $1.24 billion to develop six presidential helicopters. Having already manufactured every presidential chopper since President White D. Eisenhower's administration, Sikorsky was playing on its home court. While the first six VH-92A aircraft are in development, Sikorsky wants to build 23 helicopters. The 17 remainder aircraft are slated to replace the 19 choppers that currently ferry the president from the White House lawn to Joint Base Andrews, Camp David and beyond. Meanwhile, a group of sequestered pilots from the Marine Corps HMX-1 squadron will test the aircraft on behalf of the government to verify its operational standards. And those who live in the Washington metropolitan area may catch a glimpse of Marine One helicopters as flight tests take place at the nearby Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and to watch more videos, by tapping the videos above.